Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. We're going to be talking about how you can start investing as a beginner investor. We're going to go through a couple tips and just maybe the best way for you guys to get your foot in the door as far as in the investing world. But Kirby, um, I'm going to let you start this one off. For me, how I started investing is how I continue to invest today. I mean, that nuanced thing of everybody wants to learn, oh, well, everybody talks about investing, but how do you do it? How do you do it? The method that I started with, I still do today. Now, of course, I have other things. I have an investment circle, but the initial plan that I have, and I recommend everybody start this way. Uh, it sounds boring. It sounds uh, slow, but most people don't have the time, energy, and effort to study the stock market. So the best way to go is just buy the whole market itself. Um Alex, I know you're going to put up some uh, screenshots and things of that nature of, you know, how do you log in and, you know, get the first account. But the first thing I would do is get mutual funds. I mean, we don't most people, you know, you have family, you have kids, you have jobs, you have side hustles, you have everything else going on. You can't sit there and study the market. I mean, it sounds great to if we can get on here and tell people the next stock to buy to make them a millionaire. But the truth of the matter is true wealth is made over a long period of time with a lot of in energy effort and on purpose. So the first thing I would tell people to do is just buy a mutual fund that's indexed to the stock market and then keep putting money in there every month, every week, whenever your pay cycle uh, occurs in your household and do that on purpose, on time and do that the first thing you do every month. And then you figure out life with whatever the rest. And I'm not going to sit here and set an amount of money that you should do, but at the bare minimum, it should be $50. But you should put enough in there where you feel it, not feel it as in, oh my God, I can't pay the light bill now because I invested. I mean, feel it to be like, okay, I put enough money in here now. Maybe I can't go to the club. Maybe I can't go party. Maybe I can't go buy another pair of shoes. That kind of feel it. But it should be, it should be a nominal amount where you are sitting there and you're like, okay, I'm going to have to make adjustments to my life to afford the rest of my life because I put money into investments that secured my financial future. Yeah, it, there's a lot of videos on like, you know, oh, you should jump right into real estate. You should jump into, you know, this syndicate to invest in apartment buildings and stuff. All that stuff, like you can learn that down the road if that's something you want to do. But the basic stuff is just investing, like you said, in the S&P 500 or index fund in the market itself. And, you know, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just learning and understanding what investing is rather than seeing your money sit in a bank account and collecting small interest. You can see your money be invested into a fund and see the returns on that fund you can see the dividends you can start to understand what dividends are you can see the capital gains start to understand what that is and just learn from that so you know as a beginner you're wanting to learn you're not wanting to just jump right into something hoping you're going to strike it and make rich but you know that's where you want to avoid from going if it sounds boring but you can see results from other people and what they're saying then that's probably the best way to get started right and for those people that say the stock market is risky that's true and what i mean by it's true as the stocks individual stocks buying individual stocks with you not knowing what the company does uh without you knowing the financials on the company buying individual stocks or buying the nikes hot stock or penny stock is that risky hell yeah it's super risky that's why you didn't hear us say buy an individual stock. We said buy the whole market. I'll buy the whole market as S&P, the top 500 companies in the world. That's vetted by people that have the analytical brain and the financial reference brain to put those companies into the fund or VOO or a NASDAQ 100 or a NASDAQ mutual fund, something of that elk. And the reason why is because it mitigates the risk. Everybody, stocks, Individual stocks can go to zero. And I'm telling you this, and you can bet your ass, the only, re only way the stock market, the whole stock market will go to zero if it's World War XII, COVID, and the Ebola virus combined in one. 
if the stock market go to zero at that time, it don't really matter for you because m- money won't even be your biggest problem. It'll be survival. That's the whole key of it. The stock market itself is not going to zero. Individual stocks will go to zero. Hell, I didn't bought individual stocks before it went to zero. So that's why to mitigate the risk, you buy the entire market and you play off the market and not an individual stock. You're not sitting here putting your life, hope, your family goals, your family dreams, sitting on one individual company thinking that you're going to make money. Can you make more money itself going out there trying to do an individual stock? Yeah. But you have a safety net in the market. You have a safety net in the Fed that's going to protect the market. You have safety nets in governments around the world that's going to protect the market. They're not going to protect individual companies, but they will uh, protect the market. And that's your safety net. And that's why I recommend everybody starting out, they should start investing in the market when they first start out. Yeah, I remember, I mean, when I first started out, I invested in, um, I used different accounts, accounts like Kirby Hates, but they're great for beginners just to understand what you're actually, maybe not what you're doing, but kind of, it's like investing with training wheels almost. I mean, it's Acorns, uh, Robinhood. No, we're not sponsored by these people, but those are the the platforms that I used when I first started. They're very basic Um I tend to recommend those platforms to people if they have no idea what they're doing, because if you jump onto like E-Trade or Charles Schwab and you're looking at the charts, it's going to confuse you because you don't know what you're looking at or what to read and understand. So, I mean, I'm sure everyone has seen those platforms before pop up on ads and stuff. Those kind of just guide you along just to show you what a return is to see your money grow and you know, I would probably say Robinhood is a little bit better than Acorns because you can pick your investments. Acorns doesn't really give you that freedom to select, but you want to just start with something basic just to get your foot in the door and just learn step by step. That would be my biggest recommendation because you don't want to do something that you have no experience in. Right. I'm showing my age a little bit here. So the first stock I ever bought, I mean, my first mutual fund first, my first mutual fund, I mean, I just use, you know, USAA. That's when they had a, a mutual fund service. Um, but now it's so many out there. They got principal, just that allows you to invest in mutual funds. You got principal. I'm looking through my phone because I, I uh, Victory Capital, you know, Charles Schwab, different ones like that. Charles Schwab lets you do mutual funds and stocks, but it's companies that's out there that's uh, strictly mutual funds. You know, you got Victory, um, you got um, the Bogo funds, uh, Vanguard, that's what I was looking for. Um, But to show my age, when I uh, started investing in stocks, I literally had to go on the company's website and buy the stock through the company's website. My first stock I ever bought was Merck. And uh, I went on Merck's website and bought it on the website. And then so, you know, got the little stock certificate deal. And um, and that's how I that's how I had the that's how I did my first my first uh, actual transaction. And then I learned more about brokerage accounts, you know, a little bit down the line. I was like, oh, this is all in one. I could just do it all right here. So now I have to log into different things to do it. Uh, But yeah. And and it's not that I I hate those those. uh, Well, Acorn, I do. I do hate. Um, but Robin Hood, I mean, if you got to start somewhere, start somewhere, you know, but I don't like the gamification of it. I mean, you know, the gamification, it looks more like a casino than it looks like what's really happening. You know, it's making people enjoy that they out there thinking they swing trading in the stock market. They just think they at the casino. And that's that's not what I want. I wanted to look professional business and let people know this is serious. And so that's my only reason behind it yeah it makes sense it It makes total sense i think it is kind of gamified um it's very dumbed down um i think that's why it's um i think it's a good platform to start for a beginner but once you get the gist and understand investing you should be switched over to a more professional platform but with all that being said guys if you like the video hit the like button uh share this video subscribe and we will see you guys on the next one